Good day everybody. Today we are going to be looking at the con concept of geometry, um, specifically parallel lines incorporating the concept of fuzzy x or fun as some of you might know it. Now this is generally what parallel lines look like and they are normally marked off with this type of arrow that's how you know that the lines are parallel. So whether they go across, whether they are diagonal, those are what parallel lines look like. What you do need to note, however, is that parallel lines will never, ever touch. They never meet up. Hence the concept of them being parallel. That's what it means. So the first type of angle that we are going to look at is corresponding angles. Now with corresponding angles, you have a set of parallel lines. You'll see that this is parallel to that. Now, when you are looking for parallel li for for the corresponding angles, you look for the F shape. So the angles are either going to be both below the line or both above the line. Now, corresponding angles are equal to each other. So if that is 50, then that will be 50 as well. With co-interior angles, you also have a set of parallel lines. That line is parallel to that line. Now, co-interior angles are not equal. However, they add up to 180 degrees. With alternate angles, you have this line parallel to that line, and you would be looking for the Z or the N shape in your sum. Now, alternate angles lie on opposite sides of the transversal, opposite sides of the transversal, that's your transversal, but they lie between the parallel lines. So that's your one parallel line, that's your other parallel line. So your alternate angle will lie between the parallel lines, but on opposite sides of the transversal and they are equal. Supplementary and vertically opposite angles, they do not have parallel lines. However, we thought we'd incorporate it into this teaching because you need to know it as it also applies to this part of geometry. So supplementary angles, they add up to 180 degrees. There are no parallel lines and vertically opposite angles. This is when two lines cut each other to make this X shape. Now, if that is 50, that will be 50. Now, I want you to have a look at this for me quickly. So I'm saying 50. If that's 50, that's 50 because the angles are vertically opposite. But if I have a look at that angle, what would that be? But it would be equal to that one as well. How are you going to find that angle if this one is equal to 50 degrees? Can you tell me? If that's equal to 50 degrees and that's equal to 50 degrees, what would that one be? Did you say that it is 130 degrees? If you did, you'd be right. Now that one will also be equal to 130 degrees because the two, these two are vertically opposite. Now I know you'll want to know why is that 130. I want you to look at this for me. From there to there. Is that not a straight line? It's a straight line. And angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, which we learnt here. But this side is also a straight line, meaning that this side of the line also adds up to 180 degrees. So tell me what you notice about this. You should notice that, so what you should notice is that 130 plus 50 plus 130 plus 50, they add up to 360. Why? Because angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. We'll cover that again at a later stage.